Good evening, guys. Oh, I hope everybody had a great day. So I think we're gonna do a changing video with Charlie. I have a couple of more things. I mentioned that I had a couple more items coming from um, Ashley at Baby Love Heartsmith from her uh, her baby clothing sales sale page on Instagram, and they arrived. I guess it was yet yesterday, and I found them this morning on the table underneath some other stuff. I didn't even know they were here. So I'm gonna open those up, and I think one of them I'm going to put on Charlie. Yes, it should be appropriate for Charlie. We're gonna appreciate her in this little outfit for just a little while longer. It's the, the most cuddly thing. All right. So, this, this first set I got um, for Sparrow for obvious reasons, although it could certainly be used on other babies with the proper attire. It's this um, diaper cover, or well, it's a, I guess it's a cloth diaper, but that's how I plan to use it, we'll see. And Bib, I think it's handmade. Isn't that pretty? I'll show you the, the pattern a little closer up. I love it. Actually, it's so vibrant in person. So that'll look so cute on Sparrow wearing nothing but this. Adorable. Yay, thank you. And then this is what I think I'm going to put on Charlie. It, uh, let's see, so this is Next Baby. I'm sure the size is on the inside. I think it's it's newborn or first size. And this footed sleeper, it says born, welcome home, born in 2018. It's got a little embroidered house and some clouds down the sleeves. And Charlie, of course, was born in 2018. So it's highly appropriate for her. Oh, and the back is all clouds. I'm trying to think. Let's see. Sparrow was born in 2018 as well. And then um, Silas was born in 2019. And Lestat... Vladimir Lestat was born in 2017. I think the end of 2017. So, two babies that will work for. This is her little mouse, Mishka. People ask about this. There's a couple other people in the community that have this mouse also. Um, you can find them on Amazon. I found it in a little local bookstore. They have a a baby and children's uh, section of toys and books. It's Maya and Alvin. There's an elephant. Alvin is an elephant. Oh look, her nose is fading. And let's just look at her little bum one more time. Her little mousy bum. I, I could probably be happy keeping her in this outfit forever. I realized that Charlie always looks like, um, whatever. <laughs> I was thinking about that the other night. Her face, she she's always kind of like, whatever. Except when she was mad at me and she looked dismissive. She's not a very excited or excitable baby. Which makes me think that she's intelligent and observant. I think that's how I would picture I'd picture this baby based on her expression. We're officially in October. I can't believe it. Yesterday was about 85 and today was about 65. Oh, we lost a sock. Her feet, her, her hands and feet are some of her best features. Look at these feet.
what amazes me, and I'm sure, I mean, she's got, when, when doing sculpting, she has the clay pieces and could probably play with them since she's only sculpting. Um, I would imagine they sculpt limbs and, and um, for the clay baby that they make the mold from um, so she could put them together. But it still amazes me how, and I, I've had one other, I think one other um, Bonnie Brown sculpt that from, um, that was Ellie Sue, the Ellie Sue sculpt. And the same thing, the way the limbs fall together and fold and all of the different poses that just naturally happen when you move the doll or pick the doll up. It's just really incredible. Alrighty. So let's get you in something cozy because it's chilly and it's rainy. Of course you were in something cozy already, but nevertheless. I can't remember if I shared this thought or not. Um, like you know how we talk about sometimes how people, some of us get really attached to certain dolls and we can get upset or angry or even stop watching certain collectors if they happen to sell a, a particular doll. Um, I think maybe I did mention this, but anyway, if I'm repeating myself, just turn the volume down. Or just turn it down anyway if you want to. But, oh, I hope this fits you. What's going on? This might be small for her. I think it goes along with that whole, the same phenomenon that makes us fall in love and, and kind of get tricked or just go, you know, with the realism whether or not we're tricked, but still kind of assigning a persona and, um, you know, all of the, that side, the same, the same type of emotions that cause people to be creeped out by these dolls is, are the same, I think are the same ones that cause us to go gaga, even knowing about them and uh, as babies, even though we know, you know, that they're not real babies. Um, causes these emotions that maybe aren't rational but are the same ones that make you feel guilty when you kind of sell a doll or that kind of thing so while I certainly believe it's unfair from a certain perspective and maybe not rational I also understand it a little bit I think, I think, um, I think that we have varying degrees of ability to temper our actions or be aware of the, I'll say need, but that's kind of a strong word, the, the need or the appropriateness of tempering our actions versus what our um, instinctual emotional reaction is, you know what I mean? Like some people will go, okay, I feel really upset that that person is selling that doll. Um, I, I, you know, I kind of feel upset, but I know that like there's really no reason to be angry at them, or you know, like I, I understand it's just my own attachment to this object, and can just go forward. And some people, and some people, the emotion is just um, drives an action, and we don't even th some people don't even think twice about that. I don't necessarily. I don't ne don't necessarily hold that against want to hold that against people anyway. I don't hold that against people. I I may. 
I may feel feelings of being offended, but I can realize too that those are um, my own egoic responses. I think that would be the best way to say it. She looks so cute, it barely fits her. But what I love about that, well, two more hair. What I love about that is that I can see the bend and the action in that right leg in here. I can like see the movement of her little body, her little knee through the fabric. And she just looks amazing in white. I don't know if you can see how it picks up the red in her fingernails. I'll see if I can show you a little better. Hopefully. Yeah, that's it's coming across okay. Love it on her. Like I said, it just barely fits, but so cute. There she is with her little puffy eyes. Miss Charlie, born in 2018. Welcome home and welcome home again. Love her. I hope everybody has a great evening and um, enjoy the weather, especially if you are experiencing the move from very hot to cool weather, if you like that kind of thing. And I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I will also be sure to be back soon, I'm sure, with something else to show you or talk to you about, and hopefully an update on my baby. <laughs> Love you guys. Sending out lots of love from us to you, and we will be back soon. Bye for now.